Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back. I hope everyone is doing great today. So, I'm going to start off here you guys. I wanted to begin this video by not showing you guys today's products. I don't know, what do you prefer for me to like show you like a little clip of today's design and the products I'm about to use or do you just want me to go straight onto the video and just begin the whole process, you know? So let me know down below what do you prefer. That way I know, you know, how to edit my videos, you know what I mean? So as you guys can see here, I already had my tips prepped and everything for this video. I am using my long coffin tips which are available on my website and I just cut them to size and that's pretty much what I do you guys. I don't need to shape or anything else. So I'm beginning here with the acrylic from Jacqueline Acosta. It is called Flamingo and it is a very pretty pink. It's like a very light pink, like a milky pink. I don't know. It is very, very pretty, you guys. So as you guys can see, I'm going to be applying the acrylic and I start off around the apex area. And very gently, I just try to bring the acrylic down towards the tip of the nail. But since it, these tips are way too long, um, it didn't reach all the way. So then I'm going to have to go back in with a smaller bead and just uh, fill in that area. So next, I'm going to go in with a medium uh, bead and just place it right on the cuticle area. And then I'm just going to be cleaning, you know, around the cuticle area and just try not to touch any of the skin because we are trying to avoid any lifting we do not want none of that uh, so that's pretty much what i'm going to be doing here then i'm going to take a small little bead and place it at the tip wherever this first bead didn't reach and then i'm going to be placing it there and then i'm going to brush it upwards 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 <laughs> towards the cuticle area so I'm just watching my sidewalls, trying to remove any excess of acrylic. You know how there's sometimes acrylic that just runs down the sidewalls. We don't want that. Uh, we want to make sure that, you know, we take less time while we file. Uh, so just try to perfect your acrylic application the best that you can. Just practice on that. I heard on TikTok today, I was, I was like scrolling through TikTok today, and one of the girls uh, said, it's a, it's a Spanish video, but I'm just gonna tell you guys what it said in English. It said that you should become best friends with your brush and not your file, okay? So what she's pretty much trying to say is that your acrylic application should be very very neat you should work on your acrylic application rather than your filing process when when you have the acrylic application well put together you can go ahead and practice more on your shaping and your filing and all that but for now as a beginner i would say you should uh work you know with your acrylic rather than your filing process because honestly like honestly you guys ever since i'm not saying my application is perfect because i still have a long way to go but ever since i put more attention onto my application process rather than my filing process um i take less time filing you guys like not even joking my filing process is just super quick, you know, I don't know, you guys, it's, it's just a big difference. So just watch what you do with your acrylic, you know, like I said, try to work on your beats, try to practice on your ratios. I've, I've taught you a little bit of that um, on my, on my acrylic application when I'm on that video where I'm using that little finger, that practice finger. You may go and watch that. That's a very helpful video if you're a beginner. Um, so I would say just practice, 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 practice as much as you can. Because honestly, you guys, practice, it's not going to make you perfect, but it is going to help your application a lot more. So yeah, you guys, I know I'm going and rambling a lot about this, but honestly, I cannot express this enough, you guys. You have to 
get your acrylic well put together you have to lay it down as best as you can um so yeah and just take that in consideration what she said on that tiktok video be best friends with your brush not your file okay so as you guys saw here on my ring finger i went ahead and added a thin layer of the pink and then i went ahead and applied these two little butterflies and these two little gold um flowers these two little gold flowers you guys i got them off of the nail supply glamour website a while back so i'm not sure if they still have them but they're just so so pretty um now i don't know if you guys knew you guys but i love to do diys like now that's that fall is coming like i love to do diys and i thought about something while i was gluing these little flowers on <laughs> If you do have little flowers, like little dried flowers um, for you to cap, for you to encapsulate nails with, take a spray can, you guys. Like, no kidding. Take a spray can, a metallic spray can, gold, um, rose gold, whatever spray can you have, but it has to be metallic. And you can actually spray paint these, and this is pretty much what you get. So I think that's what I'm going to be doing, <laughs> spray canning my my little, some of the little flowers that I have so that I could do some fall nails with. Um, so that's a really good idea, you guys. I, I literally just thought about that. But yeah, um, I just went ahead and applied my, my pink on the pinky finger. And then I'm going to jump onto my index finger. I went ahead and applied a little bit of my eye gel beauty uh foil gel i cured it in the lamp for about a minute and a half i always try to leave it a little longer and then after it's cured i just went in with my foil and this is a gucci foil and it looks so pretty but before that i'm gonna be doing an ombre so before that you guys i'm gonna be taking my top coat and just top coating a little bit of this on top of the foil because my monomer will ruin my foil and i don't want that so that's happened to me before and i don't want that to happen you guys <laughs> so i just went in with a little bit of uh top coat top coated that and then now i'm going to be doing my ombre the ombre it, of course is going to be with the same pink that we were previously using from jacqueline costa and what else you guys the brush is the same brush that i've been using lately which is the number 16 brush from nail supply glamour highly recommend honestly i do not have a discount code with them you guys i've seen a lot of nail techs on instagram and tiktok having um whatchamacallit <laughs> coupon codes for nail supply glamour but i don't um i might reach out to them to see if i could hook you guys up with a coupon code but i don't know i guess you would have to go in like on instagram and tiktok to see if you guys find any coupon codes for these for for the store i'm sorry but anyway um yeah you guys the acrylic the monomer and the crystal clear acrylic is from uh glam and glitz and you guys know that this is what i use and i'm just going to be using this for capping all of this um everything that we just did you know because of course we don't want to ruin this ombre or the foil or the little flowers and all that so i just went ahead and capped everything and then i did the filing process off camera Okay, chicas, so after I finished filing everything, I'm going to be going in with a little bit of the Zule glue. This is the resin that I use for my crystals. And I'm going to be gluing on this little uh, Gucci charm onto my nails. So I just placed it like right in the center of my middle finger and then around it. I'm just going to be um, dotting a little bit of the same glue uh so that i can glue on the rest of the crystals and i'm gonna be doing this little design here on my middle finger 
So, yeah. All of the nails are going to be kind of different. They're going to be kind of, um, you know, they're going to have, like, different designs and stuff. So, it's pretty much what you want to do and pretty much what you feel more comfortable working like. Um, if you don't want to do a lot of crystals like I'm doing here and stuff, you can totally do it different. You know, these are just ideas that I bring for you guys to your table and um, for you to practice and stuff, you know. So, um, these, like I said, these are just ideas. You can change whatever you don't like and you can add whatever you like. So, it just makes the design yours and you don't have to use whatever I'm using. You could use, you know, of course, other acrylics, you know, 100%. I'm, like, completely being truthful here. But, like, not 100%, but 99.9% .9 of the time when uh, us nail techs do recreations, we do not have, like, the same uh things that the other tech was using on their design so just make it yours and use whatever you have in hand like i said just take away what you don't like and add whatever you like so now moving on to my pinky i went ahead and added this striping little tape here in rose gold and then i'm going to be adding some crystals around the cuticle area you know, just little tiny crystals. I didn't want to go in with, like, big old crystals. So, I just added these little tiny ones. I believe they're in size 5, AB5. So, that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing. And then, I also added some on the tip of the nail. You know, two and then one on top of that. Again, these are size 5, AB5. And these are not Soros Sorovskis. <laughs> that's really hard to say, but... Um, these are not Swarovskis and these are from eBay. I think I got them a long time ago and yeah So here on my index finger, I'm gonna be doing kind of like the exact same thing So just adding a little gold uh, ring around that and then placing a little crystal right in the center and right around that and some more crystals So after that's done and over with I'm gonna be going in with top coats Okay, chicas, so for today's top coat, it's the one from Not Polish, which is amazing. I love, I love, 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 like hands down, you guys, one of the best top coats out there. Um, I do have a discount code with Not Polish in case you guys didn't know. The link and the coupon code will be down in the description box below. So I'm going to be applying a super thin layer all over the nails. You do not have to add extra, extra, extra top coat, you guys, like that's one of the biggest mistakes i would make like don't do that it's gonna run through your sidewalls and that's the way it's gonna cure and it's gonna look a little funky so don't do that just add a thin layer honestly like honestly one thin layer will do the job so that's pretty much what i'm gonna be doing i put that under the uv lamp for about 60 seconds and um after it's uh done it comes out of the lamp and i add a little bit of cuticle oil so yeah you guys these are the final results i really hope you guys enjoyed it i really hope you guys like this design thank you so much for being here and don't forget to subscribe like comment and share the video if you guys liked it i will see you on the next one stay safe god bless and bye bye